What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits and inside of this Lightroom tutorial, we're taking a look at this motorcycle photo, transforming it from a pretty plain Jane underground photo to something that looks like it's straight out of a blockbuster movie. How are we doing it? Well, we're doing some dodging, we're doing some burning, and most importantly, we're going to add an artificial sun flare to this image to make it look like we've got that really, really cool anamorphic lens effect, okay? So if you wanna know how to add anamorphic lens effects inside Lightroom, I'm gonna show you a really easy, quick trick that maybe you didn't know about before. So let's get into it, hit that intro, and I'll show you how. Okay, so after the world's longest intro, I'm sure you're waiting with bated breath to see how we go from this to this. Let me show you, it's pretty quick, it's pretty simple. So. For starters, we're just going to work on the overall scene. So I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit. I'm going to grab a radial filter. And the first thing that I'm going to do is isolate the subject, which is our biker here, from the background. How am I going to do that? Well, I've got a preset that I've already made here called Brooding Dehaze Darken. Now you can just pause the video and copy these effects. Or if you want all of these presets and these pre-made brushes, you can grab them with any of our Signature Edits preset packs at shop.signatureedits.com. You don't have to. Just pause the video and copy it if you want. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. You're going to see when I invert it using the apostrophe key. That before and after, here's without, here's with. It really just darkens down and moodifies everything in the image. Now I'm going to adjust the clarity a little bit so it doesn't make everything so blurry. But we're really just uh, isolating our subject from the background and that's going to draw the eyes in and make it feel a little darker, a little more moody. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start by doing a little bit of dodging and burning. So I'm going to take this brush here and just brush on any of the areas that I want to add a little bit more darkness to. So all these areas around these columns that are already kind of in shadow, I'm just going to enhance that a little bit. I'll press O so you can see what I'm doing. Anything that's already dark, we're just going to darken down a little bit. Okay. I don't have to be super, super accurate with this because I'm just doing a pretty subtle effect here. So we can just bada bing, bada boom, go through like that. Okay, press O so you can see the effect. Here's before and here's after. So we've just darkened down a little bit and I'm gonna keep going. We can darken down the floor around him. Take our flow down and darken this area as well. Okay, so there's before and there's after that. I'm going to do the same thing. This time we're going to burn or dodge. I can never get straight which one is which. One of them is making it brighter. One of it is making it lighter. So we're going to take our exposure up here. I'm going to add some texture, some clarity, a little bit of dehaze. And then any of the areas that I want to add a little lightness, basically areas that were already highlighted, we're going to highlight some more. So let's go ahead in here. You're going to see that's really going to enhance the texture, make things pop. So these columns. Just like this. And so if you want to actually download this image and edit along with me, go over to signatureedits.com slash free dash raw dash photos. You'll be able to grab this shot, which was given us to the bite by the generous Parkin Moto underscore GP Pfeiffer. Make sure to tag him if you share this photo online so he can see the awesome edits you've created. Okay, something like that. I'm actually not loving this being so light, so we're going to erase that and just highlight the column. Okay, and if you're thinking this is a pretty sloppy mask, you are correct. I'm going to go in here and just make the effect a little more subtle in a second. But by doing it in a way that is really nice and strong here, I can see exactly what I'm doing, where I'm affecting. So now I'm going to enhance the bike tire chrome on his bike, handlebars, maybe his jacket, has some nice highlights we want to bring out like that, and the helmet of course too. Okay, so that's before and after, and now if you want to take the entire effect and tone it down, we hit this little arrow here on the right. I'm going to take the amount slider, and that's going to allow us to adjust the entire effect up or down as you see fit. So I'm going to grab it, take it to around there, it looks pretty good. Okay. Next, I'm going to do one more brush here, and then we're going to get started with adding that anamorphic flare. So this brush, I'm going to do kind of the same thing as I just did, but I'm going to enhance the details on Mr. Biker Man a little more. Just mask on him. Take the exposure down a little bit, maybe a little more dehaze. 
And I'm kind of going for a more grungy feel, so it's okay that it's pushing it pretty far. It's okay if we're clipping some of the blacks. Here's what we've gone from here to here so far. Great, looking good. Next step is gonna be adding this lens flare. That's really what's gonna give it the magic kind of cinema feel. And we do that by grabbing a radial filter. I've got a preset here uh, called Add Lens Flare, which can save us some time. You can just copy it. But let me erase and show you how you do it. Lens flares essentially are just raising the exposure and robbing the lens of contrast because the lens interacts with the light in such a way the light comes in, gets rid of all the sharpness, and that's why you get that really cool kind of effect. That's a very bad description of a lens flare, but essentially if you want to duplicate it, we're going to raise the exposure and make everything else blurry. And that's going to look a little bit like a lens flare moving around. I'm going to raise the temperature up a little bit, maybe add some purple to it. And then we just play around, take our clarity down, dehaze down. We can take our highlights up a little bit, blacks up a little bit. Okay, got this lens flare. Now to make this effect actually work and not just super cheesy, we're gonna do it subtly. So we're gonna start by just adding an overall larger one. And we're gonna make it cross the entire screen. Cause that's how lens flares work. They're generally not just one circle. They're a bunch of little circles kind of interacting with all the different spherical elements, the different planes of glass inside the lens. And that's why you get multiple circles. So we're gonna make this one really big. And now I'm going to make it more subtle by grabbing this brush, hit that triangle, and just dial it back. So we're gonna go real subtle somewhere around there. Just a little bit of a flare, not much, just a bloom, okay? Next, I could even dial it back further. Next, I'm gonna right click, then I'm gonna hit duplicate. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing, only this time. Make it a little bit smaller. Bring it in towards the center like that. And now I don't really need to add so much brightness. And I kind of don't want to take away too much saturation. So I'm going to add some saturation back in. And I'm going to dial the exposure back a little bit. And maybe dial that contrast up a little bit. Somewhere around there. Duplicate it again. Same concept, a little smaller this time, a little stronger. So as we're going in towards the center, we're going to make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And there's no perfect formula for getting this right. You're just going to have to experiment, see what you get. That's why downloading this file, just playing around, can really help. I'm going to add a little bit of tint to this one. Okay, duplicate again. And that, my friends, is the secret to getting a nice anamorphic effect. It's doing it in stages, little by little. This one we could even make a little bit more round like that. We're gonna make it more subtle. Okay, now we can darken everything down. Cool, and if that effect is a little bit too strong, well, you just go back in and dial that in a little bit more. So we can grab our lens flare, take it down. Okay, now we've gone pretty far. We've taken it from this flat image to this really cool blockbuster style movie, but any blockbuster is not complete unless we actually go ahead and add some of that cinematic color grading. So we're gonna start with the mid-tones. I'm gonna make them kind of orangey yellow in true black, black, black buster. It's a black buster. I'm gonna make it kind of orangey yellow. And then we're gonna take our shadows and our highlights shift them towards a teal or a purple, and voila, we've gone from this to this. That's how you can transform any underground parking photo shoot in just a couple seconds by adding some cool anamorphic lens flares. So if this video was helpful, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button and make sure to leave a comment below? Both of those things help me out in a big way, and I would also love to hear from you, feel like we're connecting a little bit. Make sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials like this, more content, free stuff. Grab some free presets in the link below, and I will see you in the next video. So that's all there is to it. In the meantime, if you edit this and you want to share it, tag me at Signature Edits Co. on Instagram, and I'll be able to see what cool creative stuff you're coming up with. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.